You can't wipe and clean off the trauma of being gifted someone's period blood for Christmas, so... Hey guys, it's Sharon. Happy day 23 of Vlogmas. I almost thought it was 24, but then I was like, oh my gosh, if it's day 24, that means it's literally Christmas Eve. It is instead Christmas Eve Eve. Wow, y'all, we really are out here almost fully done with 25 days of Vlogmas, even though we had a little bit of a hiccup with the Zodiac serial killer Ted Bundy video. We're not gonna talk about it. I'm still proud of myself. We did it, we're here. Well, we're almost there, but. Yesterday I mentioned I was gonna try and maybe upload a like cooking video of me just getting everything ready for like um, Christmas with my family. Long story short, <laughs> I had to do all the cooking and preparations at like 3 a.m. when people were asleep in my house, so I couldn't really film because then I'd make noise and wake everyone up and piss everyone off. So instead, I was like, you know, let me make it up to them. Let's talk about our Christmas period horror stories. And granted, I know not everyone celebrates Christmas, so maybe just holiday period horror stories. So if you want to see movies like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Make sure you follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok so you have a same my videos, get a chance to be in them, and even get to be shadow of the day. And of course, make sure that you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss another upload. I get asked a lot where you can submit, so whenever I am accepting submissions, I'll post about it on the YouTube community tab page, on my Twitter, and on my Instagram story. So definitely make sure to look out for those places. But go grab your tea, go grab your snacks, go grab your gingerbread, your milk and cookies, and let's get into this. While we were opening Christmas gifts, I bled through to the seat. My aunt suddenly poured wine on me and whispered in my ear that I bled through. I went up to change and had to lock the dog out of my room because he wouldn't stop trying to lick the wine slash blood off of my pants. Can we talk about how this is probably the best and coolest aunt ever and like not to be dramatic but like I strive to be the cool aunt. You know the stereotype of like being the one person in the family that didn't have kids and instead she's like the rich cool aunt that's traveling the world? Ideally that's me. But real talk, perfect life hack. If you have a period stain and you're at a party or a social gathering, literally just get any red liquid. Ketchup, cranberry juice, wine, fruit punch, whatever. Disguise it. Make it look like you had an accident. Like, I mean, you really did, but like a spilling accident. As for the dogs, like those dogs always sniff out your period. You could be like on your last day of your period. You could be just beginning your period and that dog still knows. And it's like, do you mind? This is none of your business. And he over here like, <laughs> Anyways, my second cousin filled up a glass ornament with period blood as if it were a menstrual cup and gifted it to me on Christmas Day as revenge for smashing a cupcake in her face on her seventh birthday. I never saw her again after that. My favorite thing is that it's a second cousin. So it's not even like your first cousin. It's not even like your favorite cousin. It's your second cousin that did this to you. Listen, when you hold a grudge, I guess she really holds a grudge. Do I think a blood filled ornament is a little bit too extreme than getting like a cupcake smashed in your face? Yes, at least it wasn't a full cake. It was only a cupcake At least you can wipe and clean that off your face You can't wipe and clean off the trauma of being gifted someone's period blood for Christmas So, uh, yeah, I would have never seen this second cousin again either You're not even cool enough to be my first cousin <laughs> I went to my boyfriend's house for Christmas Eve dinner and it accidentally leaked onto the seat But my boyfriend thought it was cranberry sauce So he scooped it back up and put it into the bowl. We broke up after that. Wait, wait, wait I need to know who dumped who though. Like did you dump your boyfriend? for him just not knowing that what he put back into a bowl was not indeed cranberry sauce or did he dump you because he realized it was not cranberry juice slash sauce and it was indeed period blood that he put back into the bowl. I need to know the details because I feel like it took two to tango in this. Like was it a mutual breakup? Because again, you're the one that bled but he's also the dumb one that put something he found somewhere else, a suspicious liquid into the bowl. So it's like I get both sides but I just, I need to know. My mom and I were putting up the Christmas tree I started to feel a little wet down there, so I went to the bathroom and I freaked out when I saw blood. I didn't know what a pad was, so I went back to the Christmas tree and used the garland instead. You're telling me you were in the bathroom, you got your period, you didn't know a pad existed, and you were bleeding. So instead of using toilet paper that was in the bathroom, you decided to use tinsel off a Christmas tree? Y'all, tinsel is so annoying and it is so itchy. First of all, like, I... Not to be dramatic, but like tinsel has now been banned in your household. No more tinsel ever, because what the heck? Literally a towel, a sock, so many other things come to mind before tinsel. Y'all, please don't use tinsel as pads. I never thought I'd ever have to say that, but here we are. On Christmas night, my cousins from New York City were visiting. I was sleeping in the same bed as two of them, and I bled all over them and ruined their Christmas pajamas. And this same moment is when that person suddenly became their least favorite cousin, and they never visited nor slept with her ever again. Whoa, that came out wrong. No 
nor slept in the same bed as them ever again. There we go. Gotta clear that one up because I know how y'all are with your freaking cousins. Emphasis on the freaking. Ugh. I put on the white Christmas tree skirt thingy during photos and my mom spanked me. What are we in, mom? The 1940s? Who still spanks kids like that? I'm sorry I bled. Spank. It's not like I can't control it or anything. Spank. It's not like my body just bleeds without any warning or anything. Spank. Mom, you deserve a spanking. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Shortest TED talk ever, but facts were said. It was Christmas day and I was getting ready to open my present when I had saw a container of red liquid. I asked, what is this? My sister said, you haven't had your period yet, so I figured you can see how much blood comes out of your body. I was traumatized. Why would anyone ever think that's a good idea? It's a good idea in health class. If this were like sex ed, maybe. If we were in school and I was learning about this, but for Christmas present, you got me just like blood in a container. Whether or not it's actual blood, it's still supposed to like look like blood in a container. Why? Sis, if you were just broke or didn't know what to get me, just say that. Also, you don't lose that much blood. Believe it or not, like when you're on your period, you lose only about like two ounces of blood. And if it's like a heavy flow, it could be like max three ounces of blood, which is crazy. I know because it looks like so much blood. Fun facts. I guess when it mixes with the toilet water and the pee, it looks like it's a lot. I don't know, man. I'm just saying this is still a really crappy Christmas present. <laughs> I got my period on Christmas and my mom said that was my gift that year from her. Instead of a new phone, she kept the iPhone 11 for herself. Your mom just wanted the iPhone for herself. That is a pure and prime example of buying someone else a gift and then being like, dang, I kind of don't want to give them this gift because I really like it. And I want to keep it instead. Been there, done that. And that is why the second I see something that I like and I'm buying for someone else, I buy another one. Granted, I know that iPhone a little bit expensive, so I get where mom's like, I'm not buying another one. But also, mom, how are you going to say your present to me is my period? You did not give me that. You gave me life, but you did not give me my period. That was my own body being like, let's shed her uterus right now. So that's a cop out. Mom owes you a Christmas present. My dad thought my menstrual cup was an unopened funnel. He cut a hole in the bottom and baked pavlova using it. I'm not gonna lie, I can't blame him. Menstrual cups do look a lot like funnels. I just wanna know where was the menstrual cup left that dad looked at it and he's like, this is a kitchen item. Because I'm just saying, if dad went to like the bathroom and found a menstrual cup and thought it was a funnel, then like, that's a little bit weird, dad. That's obviously not a funnel if you found it in the bathroom because why would there be a funnel in the bathroom? But if for some reason a menstrual cup was chilling in like the kitchen or the living room or something, the closet, I don't know, then I don't blame him. I was at my grandma's for Christmas and I was on my period. She had dogs and all of them were sniffing my crotch. Everyone noticed. Literally the worst part. Dogs do not care. Dogs let everyone know your business. Oh my gosh, whenever I go see some of my friends and like I'm on my period and their dogs immediately, they're bigger dogs, so they like jump on me and they're sniffing my crotch and I'm like, oh my god. And then I just flat out be like, yep, I'm on my period. Thanks, bud. Because you know what? Everyone already knows. So I might as well address the elephant in the room and confirm it. So thank you you dogs out there. Went to my guy best friend's house for Christmas. Long story short, I bled on his couch and he stopped speaking to me after that. Not to be dramatic, but like if he was really your guy best friend, he would have helped you clean out the couch, clean up the stain, and laughed and forgiven you. So honestly, sis, I'm not saying the trash took itself out, but <laughs> I get it. If you had an expensive couch and now you're in trouble with your parents and it's all your fault, blah, blah, blah. But like a period stain or a period accident should not end friendships. And if they do, then that wasn't a solid friendship to begin with is what I'm trying to say. So go out there and bleed on your friend's couch and see how they react and that's how you find out if you have a real friend or not. Cool. <laughs> Don't tell them I told you to do that though. <laughs> For Christmas, my ex-girlfriend gave me a bloody tampon on a chain. She wanted me to wear her blood at all times. I said no and she called me a sexist dickhead and shattered my lamp then left. And that is why uh, she is an ex-girlfriend and I don't know what type of satanic devil worshiping thing this is, but I'm just saying if I were dating someone and they wanted me to wear their blood and keep their blood on me at all times. I don't care if it's from your hoo-ha. I don't care if it's from your elbow, your nose, your butt, whatever. I do not care where that blood came from. I am not wearing it. I am not using your blood as an accessory. That is weird. I'm not Edward Cullen or whatever the heck type of vampire blood loving thing you think I am. You really truly dodged a bullet with this one wholeheartedly. <laughs> I had a dance class on Christmas Eve. I wore a red tank top and white jeans. I leaked while dancing but the worst part was no one in my friend group told me. Of course the first mistake here was wearing white jeans. We get it. It happens though and that's okay. It's understandable. It's almost like a ritual menstruators go through you know but aside from that sis has a 
point. The worst part truly is that none of their friends let them know. If I'm bleeding and I have a stain and I'm with my friends and I'm with anyone actually, family or friends, you better tell me that I'm bleeding so I don't look like a fool walking around with blood on my butt. Sis, you need new friends. I got my beard on Christmas Day and had to use a tampon for the first time because we were going to be swimming. I ended up getting really sick and I thought it was because I inserted my tampon wrong. Long story short, I just ate too much every single time. That's like my worst and least favorite part about the holidays. It's all the great food, but immediately regretting all the great food because of how horrible I feel afterwards. So if you got your period on Christmas or if you're getting your period on Christmas, good luck, Charlie. Just think maybe it's not my period. Maybe it is the food. I leaked on the mall Santa and he stood up and screamed, I don't get paid enough for this I f quit. He took off his beard and shouted, Santa isn't real, and all the kids started bawling. Listen, I don't blame him for like being upset that some random person bled on his lap. Totally understand that. But you didn't have to scream and ruin every children's hopes and dreams by saying that Santa is not real. That was very uncalled for, dude, okay? Literally could have done one without the other, but he just had to ruin Christmas. And now he was never hired as a Santa ever again, but he got a great job as being the Grinch. <laughs> we were having Christmas dinner with all all of my family, including my uncles, aunts, and cousins. And I bled through my pad. When I was walking to go get a drink, everyone saw the huge red blood stain on my butt. It was so embarrassing. My hot cousin was there and I'm pretty sure he was disgusted. Really, dude? You know what I'm disgusted about? You thinking your cousin is hot. I got my period when I was at my boyfriend's house during the feast. I leaked through my pants and my boyfriend noticed and put ketchup on his own pants. What a real one. Y'all, we stand him, we love him. Happy holidays to this beautiful couple. I'm just saying, if a boyfriend can do that, so can a best friend instead of end your friendship. So if your friends, your boyfriend, your teachers, your brothers, your sisters, whoever ever thinks you are gross for having a period, you can kindly tell them to F off. Nothing says happy holidays like telling people to F off because you have your period. We love it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you have your own holiday related period horror story that I did not expose but you would like to share with us, definitely do so in the comments below. Shout out of the day goes to Daisy on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And like I mentioned, we have two more days left of Vlogmas. Oh my gosh. Or is it three? What is today? The 23rd. Two more days left of Vlogmas. Two more brand new videos. So if you're not caught up to Vlogmas yet, you can definitely go binge it in my playlist and you can definitely subscribe and turn your post notifications so you're the first one here at my videos and get to say you were the first one here. All that being said, happy Christmas Eve Eve and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye!